We're going to explain what Arbitrum is and why you should consider building on it. You'll learn why Arbitrum is different from other chains out there and why it may be the right fit for you. We have David here who is the Senior Partnership Manager from Arbitrum who is going to explain what Arbitrum is. Then at the end of this video, I'll show you how you can actually start deploying your very own smart contracts on the Arbitrum testnet. Arbitrum is a row up for Ethereum, predominantly or Arbitrum 1 is at least the first chain. What that means is when you post a smart contract or a transaction onto Arbitrum, those transactions are put into a batch and then the batch is compressed very efficiently and posted to Ethereum. Uh, that's really different to say an old L1 which has its own security properties and requires the old L1 validators to be healthy and running. Whereas on Arbitrum um, as a roll up, then you can always just go to Ethereum and you can pull out your funds directly from the Arbitrum contracts on Ethereum. In the EVM world, um, pretty much every chain is around two seconds on block time. On Arbitrum, it's 0.25 seconds. It's like eight times faster than pretty much every other EVM chain. Games require like, loot boxes and treasure chests to open. There are often multiple transactions and a game can't wait six, eight, ten seconds for that loot box to open. And Arbitrum two or three transactions is still under one second. There's a huge, huge difference for games. On Arbitrum, with its getting upgraded, uh, hopefully in the next few months, you'll have multiple virtual machines on Arbitrum chains. That will allow you to put Rust, that will allow you to put C++ contracts directly onto Arbitrum 1. They will be able to talk to the Solidity contracts here, and you won't have to go to a new chain. Um, we think the developer experience is going to massively upgrade and there's also very significant performance advantages of using these languages. So Arbitrum is a general purpose um, permissionless blockchain. We do however have verticals that we do extremely well with. Two that probably are most natural are DeFi and gaming. On the gaming side, Infinigod's a focus on mobile gaming. They came from um, the mobile gaming industry prior to joining Web3 and a mobile game that has really the chance to onboard millions of mobile gamers. We have plenty of partnerships people that can be the point of contact right from day one. Doesn't matter how large or small the team is, we're here to give white glove service to teams building on Arbitrum. It's very important to us that we're really excited for the future together. Now that we've learned a little bit more about Arbitrum, I'm going to show you how to start the building on Arbitrum and I'm going to show you how you can deploy your very first smart contract to that chain. We'll cover first how to get some testnet funds on Arbitrum, then we'll use ThirdWeb's pre-built smart contracts and dashboard to deploy your very own ERC20 smart contract to Arbitrum. So let's get started and let's first get some testnet funds on Arbitrum. First thing we need to do is get some testnet funds on the Arbitrum testnet so that we can deploy our smart contract. Now I'm on Arbitrum's docs here and we have a link down for this down in the description, but this is going to be the faucet section of their documentation here where it's going to have links to some faucets where we can get some testnet funds for the Arbitrum testnet. Now you can look here, there's a few faucets here and the chain that they're going to give you testnet funds for is you can see this quick node one is going to give you Arbitrum Sepolia on their testnet. Uh, the Alchemy and Sepolia proof of work faucets, they're going to give us ETH Sepolia. So we're going to have to bridge over that Sepolia ETH if we get it from these two faucets right over here. But we can check out the quick node faucet here. Let's open up that tab. So here you can see we're on the quick node faucet. This is for Arbitrum Sepolia. We just need to connect our wallet here. I'm going to connect my MetaMask wallet. And then over here under Arbitrum, we need to select our network. So our testnet network, we're going to choose the Sepolia. So the Arbitrum Sepolia testnet. Uh, we have our wallet address here. We're going to hit continue. Now it is going to require that you have some mainnet ETH within that wallet in order to claim some funds in this faucet. It's just their way of, you know, making sure that the faucet and people who are claiming the funds are legitimate. Uh, you can see here. Um, you can do some extra things to get a bonus in how much testnet funds you get, but I'm just going to say no thanks, just send me the 0 0.05. And once that gets sent to us, we'll have 0 0.05 Sepolia ETH on Arbitrum Sepolia's testnet. 
there you go. The transaction is queued. It's coming through. So again, we'll wait for this to come through and then we should have some funds. There you go. Transaction is now complete. So that is if you want to use the faucet to directly get some Arbitrum Sepolia ETH. Again, you can come to this quick node one. And then again, if we come back here, we have a few other options as well, like the Alchemy faucet or the Sepolia proof of work faucet. These are going to give you ETH Sepolia though. So not on the Arbitrum Sepolia network, but on the ETH Sepolia testnet. And what we'll have to do from here is actually bridge over that ETH Sepolia to Arbitrum Sepolia in order to have some testnet funds. So if you don't use a quick node one and you use the other two faucets, or maybe you already have some ETH Sepolia, you can come down to the documentation here to the Arbitrum bridge section hit that quick start here. We'll link this down in the description below as well. And we're going to come to the Arbitrum bridge. And in the Arbitrum bridge here, we're going to have to connect our wallet in the top right here. I'm going to connect my MetaMask wallet. And you can see here, uh, we can bridge from Arbitrum Sepolia to Sepolia, or we can flip this around and go from Sepolia to Arbitrum Sepolia right over here. Now you can see I already have some Arbitrum Sepolia, but we're going to walk through this and I'll show you folks how to actually bridge over these funds from Sepolia on over to Arbitrum Sepolia. So we're going again from Sepolia here. I'm going to put in point, uh, 0 0.05 sepolia eth and we're going to bridge this on over to the arbitrum sepolia network here and i'm going to move my funds on over so we're going to get a pop-up here to switch our networks on our wallet to sepolia then we're going to get a transaction here you can see we're sending the 0 0.05 sepolia eth here we're going to hit confirm and we should have a pending transaction here you can see that we have a pending transaction of 0 0.05 uh, eth coming from Sepolia, going over to Arbitrum Sepolia. Uh, it's pending right now. You can see here, time left, it says about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video here and come back once this bridge is complete. All right, so we're back. You can see the pending transactions. We no longer have a pending transaction, but we head on over to the Settle Transactions tab. You can see six minutes ago, I bridged over 0 0.05 Sepolia to Arbitrum Sepolia here. And if we come and take a look back here, you can see my Sepolia balance actually went down and my Arbitrum Sepolia balance uh, went up to 0.34. So now that we have some testnet funds, let's actually deploy our very own smart contract to the Arbitrum Sepolia testnet. Now I'm going to come over to ThirdWeb's chain list page here. And this is a list of all the chains that we support through ThirdWeb. We support any EVM compatible chain. We support over 2000 chains. This includes mainnets and testnets. And in this search bar here, you can just search Arbitrum. And we're going to look for the Arbitrum Sepolia testnet. Now, of course, if you're looking to deploy on Arbitrum 1's mainnet, you can select that here. Uh, but we're going to come over to Arbitrum Sepolia here. And in here, you're going to have a bunch of other information here about Arbitrum. Arbitrum, Sepolia, you can have all the chain information from things like the chain ID, the explorers and everything. Uh, the one thing we need to do is over here in the top right, we need to add this testnet network to our wallet. So I'm going to hit add to wallet here. We're going to get an approval if it isn't already in your wallet. If not, we can switch the network here and we're going to be switched on over to the Arbitrum Sepolia testnet. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we're going to have some contracts here that we can get started with. So we're actually going to deploy a token contract, which is an ERC-20 standard smart contract. So I'm going to select that. And then you'll be brought over here to this contract page where you can read a little bit more about the contract. You can scroll down, you can see the functions within the contracts, the events, uh, code snippets to get started building with it, as well as the source code for the contract as well. Now I'm going to come over back here to the top right and hit deploy now. We're going to fill out the contract parameters here. I'm just going to name this token and we'll just give it a symbol of token as well here. You can add an image, a description, and then down here under network and chain, we should see the Arbitrum Sepolia testnet selected. Now, if you don't, you can select that, search Arbitrum Sepolia testnet, select it and switch your wallet on over to the proper chain. Once it's under the Arbitrum Sepolia here, we're going to hit deploy now. We'll get a transaction here in our wallet to pay for the gas to deploy our ERC-20 smart contract. So I'm going to hit confirm. And then we'll get another pop-up here for a signature request. And this is going to be a signature here. When we sign it, it's going to add it to the third web dashboard. And we'll quickly show you the third web dashboard after the smart contract is deployed. 
And there you go, we've successfully deployed our ERC20 smart contract to the Arbitrum Sepolia testnet. You can see our token contract name up here, the network that we deployed to, Arbitrum Sepolia. We have our contract address here as well. And you can follow the contract checklist. You can see the next thing we need to do is mint our first tokens in the token tab. And we can check out the token tab over here and we can mint, transfer, airdrop, and burn ERC20 tokens from this smart contract. If you do want to learn more about deploying smart contracts and the contract dashboard here, we'll drop a link down to a video in the description that will show you how to start building Web3 applications using ThirdWeb's Connect SDK and how you can start interacting and implementing this smart contract to your Web3 application on Arbitrum. And there you have it. We just deployed our very own smart contract to the Arbitrum Sepolia testnet. And now you can start building your own Web3 applications on any EVM compatible blockchain using ThirdWeb's tools.